A sensational batting performance from Kumar Sangakkara put Surrey in a strong position at the end of day one at Lords. After a disappointing Royal London One Day Cup campaign, it was a welcome return to red ball cricket for the 2016 Specsavers County Championship winners Middlesex. They hosted current top of the table Surrey, who managed to take their good form from the start of the season into the Royal London One Day Cup, securing a quarter-final place. Middlesex won the toss and elected to field, and Surrey's openers Burns and Stoneman got off to a bright start in overcast conditions at Lords. The pair put on 55 runs before Finn got the breakthrough, Stoneman out for 33. That brought Borthwick to the crease, however he didn't last long, misjudging a delivery from Franklin and sent on his way for just eight. Sangakara got off the mark in style and looked to rebuild the innings with Burns. Middlesex continued to apply pressure on the visitors though and Franklin struck again with Rayner taking a fine catch to dismiss Burns for 33. Sangakara and Sibley batted until lunch to take the score to 89 for three and the afternoon session started in spectacular fashion as hesitation between the wickets almost led to Sibley being run out. The Surrey pair started to make progress but not without giving Middlesex chances. Sibley was dropped by Voges in the slips and there was further drama as Middlesex missed the opportunity to run out Sangakara this time. Both batsmen capitalised and Sangakara brought up his 50 shortly before tea. The score 175 for three at the break. After the interval, Sibley reached his 50. However, soon after, the youngster was sent on his way by Helm for 54, ending his 114-run partnership with Sangakara. The Sri Lankan was unfazed by the loss of his partner and pushed on playing some sensational shots. In the 65th over of the day, Sangakara ran three to bring up his fourth century of the season for Surrey, fittingly the day after his portrait was unveiled in the Lord's Pavilion. Folks provided good support and the pair managed to put on 67 runs before Finn sent Folks on his way for 19. In came Sam Curran, but so did the rain, and with the outfield too wet for play to continue, the umpires called time, Surrey finishing on 265 for five. A superb innings by Sangakara puts the visitors in a solid position at this early stage in the game, and he will return to the crease on day two on 113 not out.